welcome to vitarka kadpa channel i am going to start the basics and the fundamentals and how we are going to draw various kinds of curves orthographic isometric projections and how we are going to represent various kinds of solids in this entire engineering graphics and engineering drawing course so a warm welcome to one and all so what is an engineering drawing from the perspective of a engineer engineering graphics is a language of all persons who are involved in engineering activity like i can say that a drawing is required for every energy for an engineering purpose because he needs to prepare the drawing and execute the works to carry out various parts design or parts manufacturing so designer to the manufacturer the communication is going to be takes place so this communication will takes place in the help of a drawings like how much is the length i have to design or how much is the length i need to be manufacture what is the diameter of that particular uh, part which i need to be manufacture or what is the tolerance limits i need to be maintain so every communication has to be precisely communicate from the designer to the manufacturer so here drawing is one of the most essential part and i can simply say that this engineering drawing is the language of an engineer where it is going to represent the basic principles symbolic representation standard deviations notations and so on so it is basically termed as universal communication for an engineers or simple word i can say it as it's a language of engineers so what is the role of drawing in the engineering education in particularly so ability to read the drawings is one of the most important requirement for the technical people in the engineering profession as i have earlier mentioned that designer to the manufacturer a communication is going to be takes place so reading of diagrams is more and more important so potentialities of the drawing as an engineer language may be you may be made use of a tool for importing knowledge and providing information on various aspects of engineering while teaching majority of subjects figure related to that particular subjects or machinery systems are made used of various kinds of drawings next so what are the various kinds of drafting tools available or i can simply term it as engineering drawing tools which are available because i am saying that it we have to replicate that one to the in the form of a drawing so drawing required basically drawing board mini drafter and various kinds of instrument boxes it consisting of various instruments like compass bow compass divider bow divider set squares protractor set of scales drawing sheets paper fasteners pencils erasers and so on so like we are we are having some other uh, instruments also but uh, major majority of the requirement is uh, this one coming to the drawing board so the drawing board is going to be look like this it consisting of an a wooden ebony working edges as well as some battens which are going to support the wooden piece uh, and you can able to see the bottom view of this drawing board here and the drawing board is kind of uh consisting of various kinds of dimensions also like uh, b not b1 b2 b3 b uh, is the case which is going to be representation the drawing board and a is going to be represent the drawing sheet so we'll discuss this drawing sheet little bit later okay and the draw uh, dimensions of this board is going to be very like this uh, like a 1500 length and uh, 100 mm width 1000 mm width and 25 mm thickness so the thickness is also going to be very depending upon the manufacturer to manufacturer so these are the various standard size of boards which are available in the market next drawing sheets so basically drawing sheets consisting of four five categories like a0 a1 a2 a3 and a4 so these are the various preferred drawing sheets in the engineering practice among them A2 is one of the most popularly used which is having a size of 54 594 into 420 mm and A4 is the generalized 
sheet which we are using in our commercial purposes for printouts and all okay so that depends upon the requirement so the size holding suppose if the diagram is going to be fixed with 297 mm into 220 mm then we will try to prefer it in the a4 sheet and the the requirements and all we have to give it in the a4 sheet if that is not sufficient then we have to go for next next category but in general uh, the engineers or the manufacturers they will, or the designers they will try to prefer to draw it in the a2 sheet and this a2 sheet is going to be particularly fixed on to a drawing board next mini drafter so mini drafter is going to look like this it consisting of a top edge with a screw on the top edge is going to be clamp on to the drawing board and it consisting of a series of linkages so one linkage is connected to one hinge another linkage is connected to a scale so this scale will be having a perpendicular case like i can say 90 degrees the scale will be there one will be a short scale the other one will be a long scale short scale will have 15 uh, centimeters and long scale will have 30 centimeters as well as on this protractor on this uh, drafter we can see a protractor also like angular variations also we can see and uh, this mini drafter is a combination of uh, t square protractor scales uh, as well as it consisting of angles also so that we can exactly prefer a right angle and these arms are going to be move in parallel because of this linkages these arms are also going to be move in the parallel case next instrument box so in this instrument box it consisting of bow compass so bow compass consisting of one edge as a sharp edge the other one will be a pencil edge next the dividers so we can see multiple number of dividers the basic function of a divider is to transfer the length from one point to another point so for example here i am having uh, uh, for example i will take one uh, simple case here so this is my line so i need to transfer this length from here to here to another paper so i will try to measure this one with the help of a divider and i can able to transfer the exact length so instead of taking with the compass we can in the the divider advantage is to transfer of the length and the next one is the sex square so sex squares are used to draw 45 degrees 30 degrees and 60 degrees angles onto the drawing sheets so only 30 degrees 45 degrees 60 degrees and 90 degrees angles are going to be draw with by using the set squares that is the advantage of the set square next protractor so protractor basically it consisting of a 180 degrees so uh, like uh, in the full circle we will have t60 protractor will have only 180 where we can able to represent the angle from 0 to 180 on to the drawing sheet whatever the requirement may be so up uh, with the help of this uh, various kinds of uh, uh, like a bow go compass divider set square protractor we are also having drawing sheets we are also having pencils various kinds of pencils like a 2h pencil h pencil and hb pencil and we are having various kinds of paper fasteners also like uh, we, we are placing this sheet on the top surface of a drawing board the sheet should not uh, uh, erode outside so we will try to clamp that one with the paper fasteners like that multiple number of uh, instruments are there among that the major things i have highlighted here 